Hey you welcome all in. It's the king, the king of all pandas, the king ping panda. Today we've got a brand new YouTube series that we're going to be doing weekly game reviews. As voted for on Twitter for this week's video, we've got World of Warcraft, which is one of my favorite games of all time. We'll be doing a quick and small review of World of Warcraft Dragonflight Season 4, where there is just not really much to say, just like Season 4. What they added into the game. There's just fucking. There's just not much. There's just not much. All of us World of Warcraft. What? Look, let me repeat that. All of us World of Warcraft players got was harder versions of the same dungeons from what they added in from Season 1 or Dragonflight and adding in all raiding content in Dragonflight, making it that little bit harder, which they call the Awakened, which if you complete normal or heroic difficulty on all the Dragonflight raids, which can take around about minimum of three weeks. You do get to unlock a, a cool mount, which is only a limited time event during the season four. When the War Within comes out, it will be no longer available. Now, and all they really did, I guess what we're kind of like doing right now, as you can see in this gameplay, is the, also the quest line. What's it called again? The Hunt for the Hairbringer. I don't know if I said that right. I suck at pronouncing names, so bear with me. Bear with me. What they did add in this small campaign, hyping us up for the war within which i am really keen for which i'm very interested in and if you want to catch us playing that you can catch us live over on twitch or kick for when that does come out on august at the end of august just a few days before my Kaga birthday said you would come. very keen for that i thought it best to very very keen for that but yeah there's really not much to season four which is very sad and disappointing i'm a massive world of warcraft nerd there was just not much to it which you know is what it is but they did drop the remix or which you would know as the Missile Pandora Remix, which is the expansion, replaying it, but, you know, you get a bit more XP, a bit bonuses, and be able to go back in time and collect those mounts from back in the day, which are a bit harder to get due to it being an old expansion. But if you have enjoyed this video, there'll be weekly YouTube videos on whatever wins on Twitter, so if you haven't already, follow us on Twitter, chuck in the vote on the poll, comment on what you want to see for your chance for that game, to be in the poll for weekly streams and weekly YouTube game reviews on YouTube as well. So make sure to hit that like and smash that subscribe button to help us make better content to bring back to you guys in the future and keep living the motherfucking dream. If you want to check us out on any other socials, feel free in the description below. It's got all of our socials. Hit the follow, hit the like, catch our streams, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. We do what we must for My people are no strangers to voices from below, but this radiant song is different. It's being heard all across Azeroth. The Consul doesn't know what to make of it. There must be someone who does. I'll let you know what I find. Aleria. It's been too long, old friend. Good to see you, Khadgar. Doing well? <laughs> as well as can be expected. How's the family? I haven't... It's better if I keep my distance. Ah, of course. The Void. That would be... <clears throat> Actually, your connection to the Void is why I asked you here. We still don't know what this dark heart relic is capable of, but we do know it's in the hands of someone called the Harbinger. Who they are and what they intend to do remains a mystery, which is why I need your help. <laughs> to hunt down a dangerous foe we know nothing about. Honestly, I could use the distraction. Same old Valeria. Void or no void. Uh, I didn't mean to... Uh... See you soon, Khadgar. Dark heart in hand. <laughs>